Hey folks, I've been real busy today, but let's do a quick video. So here we have the uh, snake skin pair, as you can see. Babies are still kicking. This morning I did a 10% water change. A very gentle 10% water change, just to get some fresh water in here. I think I might do another one a little later. Main discus tank is doing great. Uh, it doesn't really need any water change. I mean, it's beautiful. Um, all systems go. Filters are running. It's due for gravel back and filter cleaning. Um, and we're going to get to that probably maybe tomorrow. But uh, everybody's doing okay. You see, he's showing me it's probably water change time. We're gonna we're gonna get into that uh, I think tomorrow. These two doing their thing in the 65. Hopefully they'll eat better in here. That's the plan. I'm not feeling good about these two fish at all. There's uh, I think I'm gonna call her Big Bertha. I was calling the discus upstairs that, but. Uh, I think this fish deserves to usurp the name and I can't think of anything better because she's definitely a big Bertha. This, uh, this system is running like a like clockwork down here. The water is absolutely beautiful, clean. I picked up some krill, a whole bunch of it, and she's uh, she loves krill. I think they were feeding her krill. And if they weren't, well, she loves it. The pellets they gave me that they said she was eating, she hates them. She doesn't like them at all. Uh, what she was eating first was shrimp, primarily. She has eaten bloodworm, but she's she likes the she likes shrimp. Maybe they they raised her on shrimp too, but uh, krill. She's really really happy to eat krill. Um, she seems to know where it is. And I think that's what they were feeding her. And a little guy likes it too, so it's all good. They get along great. They have uh, no issues. The temperatures come down today. Finally, it's uh, getting cool, cool again. We had about uh, close to a week of uh, heat wave situation. So she seems to be a little more comfortable as the uh, system creeps down to uh, 77 degrees. We're getting up into 80 there. She was behaving like. She's throwing rocks around, trying to make nests and stuff. But today she's uh, she's more relaxed because the water's finally cooling down. Uh, but yep, we got some real nice clarity going on. And the upper tank. And here we go with our little Oscar friends. And everything's looking nice and crystal clear in here. And uh, I took in uh, I took in the pleco and the uh, night fish because I don't want them. Now it's uh, 60 gallon. It's good, um, but I'm actually gonna have to measure this because uh, I've seen someone call this a 65 this size. So I have to measure it. The filter I got in here is dying. It keeps cutting out. I just turned it off. I might just turn it on again to run the water, but. Uh, I need new filter for this tank. Tank's clean. And then here, while I was over there, they gave me credit. I used it towards food and stuff. But I was looking at another fishy over there. I probably in some way shouldn't have bought him, but no one was going to buy him. And I thought it was beautiful because he's got really... Uh, he, was, he was almost all black when I was looking at him in the store anyway. When I got him home, he looks a little lighter under my lights, I guess. Move my light up front here. We're gonna get a good look at him. And here he is. I brought him home. I essentially got him for free. He's very black. He looked more black in their store though. But you see his mouth? That's why no one will buy him. He got a little. He looks like Sylvester Stallone. So I think that's what I'm gonna call this fish. I hope it's a boy. 
Um, but I'm going to call it Stallone. He eats well. And uh, he swims well. But he's got that mouth on him. Like, like he's got that, like Sylvester. Sylvester Stallone. You, you can just hear him going, Hey, hey. So, there's three in this tank. I'm done buying Oscars. Done. And I will have a bigger tank in the bottom row uh, in the coming months. I just have to find one uh, reasonably priced that fits my setup. I'm hoping for an 8 foot. Might be a 6 foot. Either way, I've, I'm going to have so much water volume going, I can, I'll be able to support these fish. And this is my Oscar rack. Completed. Four silver dollars, and they grow a little bigger. I'll put two downstairs, two upstairs. Those little tetras will come out, but they're just going to stay in there for now because uh, no one's interested in them. And uh, it's good to get your Oscars used to being around other fish, and then they don't try to kill everything. So that's what we're doing with these little guys. I really love this tank. It's quite nice. Very pleasant to look at. Really active. Very clear. Since adding this sun sun down here that came with the Big Bertha's tank, it was basically packed with super bacteria, like three years of, I'll say more than a year of just let it go. And then uh, it was one third full in the bottom of like solid packed muck, uh, detritus muck, brown, black, detritus muck. All the, all the filter pads and everything were just chocked full. All the biomedia, everything was just polluted. But I blasted it all out so, until the water ran clear and uh, put it all back together and started it up because the biomedia was just loaded with, you know, like look at these fish, there's no hole in the head, there's no, uh, even the pleco and the swordfish were in beautiful condition despite the fact that the water was soup. It's very, very weird, like um, it created its own biocycle and uh, so yeah, I, w I was very excited to add this bacteria because the fish were disease free. It's really good stuff apparently. So I added it into this system because this system was pretty new. Right? I've only been running it about a month. It's, it's uh, look how clear it is now from the cycled media. Like, those are new rocks and new sand. So that's not used media. But what I did do is put half the gravel from this tank, probably more than half of it, into the barrels. Uh, after giving it a good flush, but it was still a little, little bit of dirty water with them, you know. And uh, and then we put the sun sun in, and now the system is just absolutely seeded with aged and healthy, good beneficial bacteria. And it it's uh, really set the environment up nice for all these fish. Um, before I did my first water change, uh, it, it, the bacteria in there made everything stink. And my, my tank was starting to stink because there was just too much of it in the system. But once I, uh, once I water changed it out, it all just caught up. And it takes three, three to five days, generally three days, for uh, bacteria, uh, beneficial style bacteria to sort itself out, either die off because there's not enough to eat or uh, catch up to what it needs to do. In this case, it, I put so much in the system, uh, there was excess. So you start to really smell it and got almost swampy swell. But now it's uh, just a mild, earthy, normal smell. And that's what you want. You want that to just, just a hint. Shouldn't stink up your, shouldn't stink up your fish room, you know? Your tanks are stinking up your fish room, you're doing something wrong. It shouldn't happen. 
they just this look they just love each other they just all snuggle in ain't she a beauty all her all her damage is now healed let's let's check her right side that's where it was worst oh she feeling good her right fin still got a little healing to good to do but it's uh, still you know a couple tears left to close up but yeah look at that she was she was ripped up that side real hard uh, Looks like she scraped herself on the way in the bucket. I don't know what they did. Or they dropped her on the floor. This whole side was messed up hard. And she's healed. Good clean water got her through. And she does this only when I'm in the room. I've left the camera running to watch her when I'm not around. She doesn't do that. <laughs> she's talking to me. Yep. Oscars are our joy. I'm glad I have them. Discus and Oscars, my two favorite fish. I have them all now. Got to watch my father's Oscars when I was little, but they weren't mine, you know? And none of his got nearly this big. Bertha's a beast. And she could be, if they told me the truth, and she's a year old. Now that she's in, in my water, she's going to grow more. I don't believe she's a year old because of her size. I think she's two years old. But um, we'll see. The pleco looks like it's two years old, and the knife fish looks like it's two years old. But maybe they just fed those real good too, and they grew fast. The owners swore up and down this fish is one year old. What's she doing? I haven't really seen her do this before. Absolute tank. She was picking those those white rocks up and throwing them last night. They're bouncing off walls and shit. Just having fun. I think she's trying to make a mess. Um, but now the water's cooler. Uh, that stress has uh, alleviated. We'll get her down to 77, 76. She's still at 78, a little warm. 78 and a half, actually. Uh, but the barrels are down to uh, 76, 0.8. They're always, uh, you know, oh, barrels are always a little cooler. This is getting to be long enough. We're in the 14 minute range. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying the fishies as much as me. Oh, is he pooping? Uh, but, you know, I thought I saw a big stream. Hanging off him. He turns out to be a boy. When you get him with Bertha, they'll make real nice babies. He looks so black at the store. Now he's all, he looks so red here. Like he looked almost entirely black at the store. No, I don't know why. It must be my lights. Just different lights, different result. 
or my water is making them show better color. Maybe it was black like discus. They get black when they don't feel good. He was black at the store. That's what I thought was cool about him. He's still cool though. And he's got his little Sylvester, Sylvester mouth. And I think that's going to give him character. And we'll, just, we'll just call him Stallone. Sylvester Stallone. The fish. Let me see his little. I don't even know what to call that. I gotta look that up when, when some, someone does that with their mouth. <laughs> Most people see that as a defect. I think it's adorable. He likes to eat too. I think he's gonna be just fine. That's it for now. Maybe I'll pop open a live stream tonight. Sit around, shoot the shit. I gotta see if I can somehow get StreamYard to work from down here. And like tap into OBS and stuff like that. But um, I'm not the best at using all that stuff yet either, but I'm trying to figure it out. What I need is like actual Wi-Fi cameras, then I can do some cool shit. But uh, not now. I got money going in too many other directions. In the last few weeks, I've blown a pretty penny getting this whole thing operational I'm glad it's all working out though I'll catch you in the next one and if I have a live stream up I hope to see you there ciao for now